My name is Derek Fields. I am the Atlassian Practice Manager for WrightStar, an Atlassian Platinum Services Partner. In today's video, I want to spend a few minutes introducing you to the Ops Genie Incident Management Module of Jira Service Management. There is so much capability built into Ops Genie that I will only touch on the highlights. If you want to know more about Ops Genie, get a demo or talk to us about implementation, reach out to us at WrightStar. If you aren't sure of what Jira Service Management is, you might want to start by reviewing my video on the core capabilities of Jira Service Management. Ops Genie is a highly functional system to alert you and your help desk team when something goes wrong. The goal is to let your team know that there's a problem before your users even realize that there is a problem in your environment, reducing the number of tickets that you receive and keeping your customer satisfaction high. While you can purchase Ops Genie licenses as a standalone product, I want to highlight how Ops Genie is tightly integrated into Jira Service Management Premium support. Let's start by looking at a typical Jira Service Management view. On the left panel, you can see the list of queues at the top. Under it, you can see the Ops Genie section, starting with Change Calendar and then moving to Services, Alerts, and On Call. This is your portal into Ops Genie, and we're going to look at each of these one at a time. Let's skip over the change calendar until we get to the end of the video and look at our list of services that we have defined for this service desk. As you will see, I have set up some generic services, database system, financial system, procurement system, and a web server. Each of these services represents something that my team needs to support. When a problem arises that affects one or more of these services, I want to be alerted quickly so that my team can get on it and fix the problem. Let's jump in and look at the database system. As you can see in this view, we have created a relationship between the financial system, which uses and relies on the database system. If the database goes down, so does my financial system. I've indicated that the database system is a tier one system, giving it the highest priority. The team that owns the system is the database team. Let's dig in a little more into the database service. In this view, which is the Ops Genie GUI, you can see that we have an open incident that is affecting our database. The alert tells us that there is a low disk storage incident that needs to be addressed. When this incident was created, it automatically issued alerts to the team, letting them know that something needs to be done to prevent a more serious situation. Let's move over to the alerts view to take a look at the alerts. In this case, one alert went directly to me as an on-call member of the database team. Alerts can be sent to me via email or text message. I can also put the Ops Genie app on my smartphone and receive push notifications right on my phone. When I receive the alert, I can acknowledge it and then respond. This will cause the alert to be closed. Who gets notified is based on who is on call and rules that I can set up in Ops Genie. Let's look at the on-call capability. As you can see, I can create routing rules that indicate who should be notified when there is an alert. I can also decide how escalation should be sent if the alert is not acknowledged within a reasonable time. At the bottom of this view, you can see that I can set up an on-call schedule for my team. This on-call schedule lets Ops Genie know who the first point of contact is at any time. In addition, I can override the default schedule if there is a temporary schedule change, such as someone who is out of the office on a well-earned vacation. One of the most important capabilities of Ops Genie is the ability to create rules that help to deduplicate alerts. In this instance, I have created a rule that sees the alert disk storage low and assigns the alias low disk to it and automatically assigns it to the database team. This simple rule now catches a possible flood of alerts into a single alert that my team can respond to, reducing alert fatigue and increasing responsiveness. Alerts are just the tip of the capabilities that Ops Genie brings to your service desk. An alert or a set of alerts is usually an indication of an incident that needs our attention. Let's look at the incident view shown here. This is my disk storage low incident. You can see at a glance that this incident is still open. The timeline shows when the incident was first created and what has happened on the incident since that time. 
Now, let's head back over to the JIRA Service Management GUI, where we are going to put a change request onto our calendar to address the low disk problem that we have been working. We click on the change calendar, and we select the time frame when we are going to add more disk to our server. I've decided to do this between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. on a Saturday morning. This allows me to create a new change request in my service desk project and puts it on the calendar so that everyone can see the schedule. This helps my team to reduce the risk of competing change requests during a maintenance window. Now let's resolve the incident. Having resolved the incident, I can now create a post-mortem analysis that will direct my team through a discussion of what happened, what we did well, and how we can prevent it in the future. After all, the purpose of tools like JIRA and Ops Genie is to support our mission to continuously improve. Thank you for taking this time to take a brief tour of Ops Genie. If you would like an in-depth demo or would like to discuss how Ops Genie can make your service desk team more efficient and boost your customer satisfaction, reach out to us at sales at rightstar.com or visit our webpage at rightstar.com.